Hello. So my name is Tony Cooper, and um, I'm a painter, and I paint a lot of on-site paintings these days. Um, so what we have here is a sort of ad hoc arrangement of works, leaning so that they stack on top of one another and can be rearranged, which in the next few days they may be. Um, and I tend to revisit the same sites many times. Um, the Bowmanville Creek is in the locale, so I'm in and out of the Bowmanville Creek many times. And uh, over the years, 30 years I've been doing this, um, the river changes, trees fall in, uh, cliffs erode. It's a very physical experience um, to be on site painting. All the paintings are painted on site, uh, winter, spring, fall, <laughs> and uh, summer. So each season has its, uh, its own stresses and its own beauty. And stresses for the painter, uh, having to stand there or find the site. And uh, of course, the beauty is there all the time. Um, so they're very fast paintings. They're generally two hours or less, and um, so you have to make all the decisions very quickly, and you have to have a system by, by which you look at the objects in front of you and translate them. And I particularly, I came out of a more abstract kind of painting when I was at art college that uh, had to do with self-expression and the movement of brush strokes, and, um, purely like calligraphy, like, like, uh, or some sort of um, emotional uh, field of color or light, a bit like Monet's late paintings and, and you know, impressionists. So what I do now is um, compile pieces together and in a funny way a new field emerges as these separate individual paintings are put together. Um, so the field for the human mind to look at is a kind of transcendent space because uh, it's like musical, that it will rise octaves and, and go down in octaves like a trill, you know, up and down and across. And uh, mathematically, it's, uh, it's there and, and it allows things to, uh, to flow like, uh, like wave patterns. Because there is a regular, regular grid that um, comes about because the paintings are juxtaposed so closely. Um, to some degree, this recapitulates that uh, sense of being in the environment, which, of course, is what it's all about. <laughs> 